Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. Money. What is it? If that's what you think. All right. Guess I'll be around Novak for a while longer until I figure out what I want to do with myself. See you around. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare, so watch your ass around me. Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho! God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking... Hypno-theoretically here. Got any suggestions? Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. Fuck off, okay? I hate you. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Damn good thing you came along, too. We had another prospect with a pit boy, but he done skedaddled. Something must have spooked the boy. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts, I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack brahmin. Reckon you know your limits. You keel over on me out there, though, and I'll leave your ass after we take everything useful you crammed in your pack. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? 
You sure you're ready now? Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites? They were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk, said Graham wasn't dead, shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar, so he forbade anyone from speaking his name, wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared, and in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story, but New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion, I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? That's not a problem. Shh. Hold on now. Could swear I heard something up ahead. 